The thistle and the cedar. The story starts out the fact that that Amaziah was a good king for a good number of years. It especially points out one area. His father, Joash, had been murdered by, by, by his servants. Well, the son, Amaziah, went after those men, caught them, and executed them. But it points out that he did not execute the children of those men, which was very much of a policy of that day. And yet, uh, it, it was, it was uh, the scripture said that they shouldn't do it. The scripture points out that children are not to suffer for the sins of the father, and the fathers were not to suffer for the sins of the, of the children. So when Amaziah didn't do it, it was an unusual thing because First of all, kings did it as a way of saying, uh, you don't rebel against the king because not only will you lose your life, but your wife and children will as well. But another very practical reason why they did it is that the children could grow up to take revenge and join, and join a rebellion. So by Amaziah following the law of God, he was literally putting his life on the line there. Uh, but he did make the right choice. Those Israeli soldiers, you may wonder now, after taking four tons of silver, why were they so upset and plunder some villages of, uh, and cities of, of Judah? Several reasons. First of all, uh, just the love of battle. They wanted to go to war. That's what they did. They wanted the excitement. But also, uh, the greed of plunder. If they'd gone into battle, they could have plundered the cities of, of Edom. So they made up for that by plundering the cities of Judah. And, and, you, and you have to remember that uh, raiding was an acceptable practice back in those days, like in the early years of England and uh, France. Uh, they, they had pirates, well, so they had here, they had raiding. Uh, and, and so that's what, that's what they did. Part of the story that we left out uh, was that when Judah conquered Edom, that they killed 10,000 uh, soldiers, men of Edom. But they took another 10,000 prisoner. But as they were marching them home, they came to a cliff, or what they call rock, and they threw them off and killed them all. Literally, they took no prisoners. Those were hard days. Making war with Israel. Why did Amaziah do it? Well, first of all, it clearly states that, that God set him up. God put it in his mind knowing that that was not a wise thing to do. But it was also pride. The, uh, King of Israel pointed that out, that he was pride that he had conquered Edom and done such a thorough job that he could take on Israel too. But I also like to point out that I believe that the worship of idols, uh, worship of idols meant that he wasn't thinking straight, that he did things that were not according to the laws of God and he did not seek the counsel of God in, in, in that thing. But of course, there again, on another matter, it could have been a part of a, of a retaliation for what the soldiers did on, on their way home. Well, Amaziah, not much is said about him in Scripture. There is one thing, though, to point out. He had a great father. Joash was a good king till the very end. But he had a great son. Uzziah was one of the great kings of Judah. And we'll talk about him next week. Come back next week when we continue on with Story Insights on the Story of the Week. We'll see you next week.